You remember last year when the federal government passed a $2.2 trillion stimulus bill and started mailing out checks and paying unemployment benefits? Well, it turns out that not all of that money was used as it was intended. In fact, $63 billion of that was lost to fraud. So today, I'm gonna to tell you exactly how scammers pulled this off and tell you what you need to watch out for before it happens again. All thanks to some special top secret information from somebody on the inside. Turns out when you spend a couple trillion dollars all at once, it's hard to notice when some of it falls through the cracks. Across the nation, another epidemic is facing millions. The Labor Department Inspector General's office estimates more than $63 billion has been paid out improperly through fraud or errors nationwide. And a lot of folks are scratching their heads wondering where it all went. But I can tell you exactly what happened, because unlike most of these experts, I actually talked to these scammers. I try to make friends with them, even though most of them probably hate my guts. But I can tell you that there are some former scammers that I've been able to become pretty good friends with, and they are ready to tell all. And a lot of these insights are coming from the land of Nigeria, home of the Yahoo Boys or G-Boys or so they call themselves. And they're proud of what they do. They brag about it. Young kids look up to them. It's a way of life. Scammers we love and scam we trust. My African girl to but the Yahoo boys will actively recruit others and teach them their ways. 419 is the Nigerian criminal code for scammers. You understand? And I should note that not all of this fraud is coming from Nigeria, but a lot of it is, and that's where my source is from. And he tells me that these guys will write scripts. They sell Instagram accounts. They sell tutorials. They literally have a scam Bible that will teach you how to scam. Because scamming is a game. So today I'm going to pull back the curtain and show you how these scammers stole billions of dollars in pandemic unemployment assistance from the American taxpayers. And so I said to my source to take it from the top and tell me how this all works. I said, once you hear that the US is giving COVID assistance, what is the first step? He said, there are two ways to do it. First by dating or by going to the dark web to buy it. And by it, he means fulls. And I'm gonna teach you some scammer vocabulary today, so take notes. Fulls is a term that means the full information of a person, like social security number, date of birth, address. And yes, these things can be bought on the dark web, where I actually got a sneak peek. Hopefully none of you guys are listed here. But sometimes the fulls are incomplete or they've been changed, and so that's why most scammers will go with option one, which is dating. We accept this service. Without a doubt. My source says scammers know that Americans usually die for love, so it's quite easy to fool them. Like, I don't know, it's like hard to find like love in my life, like it's hard. A lot of lonely people out there looking for love in all the wrong places. The scammers are swarming dating sites. They're creating fake Facebook and Instagram accounts. A favorite technique is to steal the identity of servicemen and women, because if you're in the military overseas, then you have an excuse not to meet them in person or speak on the phone. And searching the hashtag Army Fresh or US Army Soldier will give you plenty of material to choose from when setting up your fake account. And it takes time to build these fake profiles. You wanna make them look good, like they've been around a long time. You want them to look like they actually have followers, people who engage with them. And that's why some scammers have actually made it a business out of selling followers. There's even some scammers who will take the time to build up social media accounts, fill them with posts, followers, and engagement, and then let them age over time like a fine wine. And then they'll sell you the login and save you all kinds of time. Now, once you've got yourself a profile, you can start bombing. This is a new term for you to learn. Bombing is defined as looking for a person to talk to. This is the tedious part, and you can spend all day trying to get a bite. It takes patience, but if you're looking in the right place, it should only take you about 15 tries before you finally get someone. So how does a scrappy youngster from Nigeria win the hearts of his victims? Well, he's got a script. Hi there, you seem look a lot like the future I've been hoping for. Would be very nice to get to know. How are you doing today? Are you willing to devote time and commitment if you find Mr. Right? Even if it means to spend most of your time behind the computer or on your phone? I am in the army. I'm a very busy man, but that won't keep me from talking to Mrs. Interesting. Charming, isn't it? When you win the heart of an American, you might have someone who is naive enough to give you their personal details or act as a money mule for you. But you've got to take it slow. Building their trust can take up to four months or two years. And the victim is known to scammers as their client. A client is a white person you are scamming. And if you had clients heading into 2020, then you would have been one lucky scammer because that's when our wonderful government decided to give $2.2 trillion in pandemic unemployment assistance. Yeah, you bet that got the scammer's attention. 
And if a scammer is smooth enough, then he can talk his victim into sharing their foals, their social security number, their birthday, their address. You know, everything that you would need to file for unemployment. And I was like, how do you just casually ask for your girlfriend's social security number? So I asked my source and he said, for you to ask for personal stuff, you must groom the client well and the client must trust you. And I'm like, okay, let's say I trust you. We've been dating for four months. What do you say to me? And he responds with, dear please, I would like you to do something from me from your heart. You know I usually work offshore and my pay is paying paid to my bank. My bank called me to update my profile, which I'm currently unable to do. Can you please send your full details and your social security number to be able to put your details into my office payment system? And I'm like, they fall for that? Yes, they do. So then he goes on. Let's say that you've got a client in California. The first thing that you need to do is get a good VPN and visit the California Economic Development Department's website, and there you can apply for unemployment. Next, set up an account and file a claim. They need a ton of information from you, but the scammers have provided you a document to help you answer every single question and fill in every single blank. They tell you what to put for job history. They tell you what to put for reason of unemployment. And then they tell you how to accept payment. And since the government is issuing these payments through direct deposit, and all they need is a routing number and an account number, you can actually put in your cash app routing number and account number, something that Nigerian scammers are very familiar with. And oftentimes there will be pending claims where they want to try and verify your identity. So they'll follow up with an email asking you what kind of a car you drive or where you went to college. And scammers can usually get this kind of information from their clients or they can go to the public records on truthfinder.com and find out. And crazy enough, these claims get approved within days and scammers start receiving their clients unemployment payments weekly through Cash App. The pandemic, economic damage, and a sudden influx in unemployment claims created the perfect storm for scammers. I know three or four people this has happened to personally. In fact, this has happened to hundreds of thousands of people. The Ohio Department of Jobs and Family Services says of the 1.4 million unemployment claims filed since May of 2020, half were flagged as fraudulent. I talked to my friend Ronnie, who's a threat researcher, who's been tracking a lot of this stuff, and he believes that the numbers are actually much higher than we think. Yeah, so I would say, yeah, unfortunately, I've, I've, been, tra I've been tracking this stuff since May of, two, uh, May of last year. Um, and once we started seeing it, we started working with law enforcement to, get ahead, to kind of get ahead of a lot of this stuff because it was something where there was so much money going out that we just needed to try and get as many people looking at this as we could. Um, when you go and actually start crunching the numbers and kind of looking at open source and reporting information that's coming out and just Google unemployment fraud and kind of start looking at all of the states that have had that money stolen, um, you can easily piece together um, upwards of $50 billion. Again, that's just what we know so far. Um, and it's something where I think, it, unfortunately, I think it's going to be a while before we truly know the true scale of how much money actually went out on that. And our elected officials just passed another $1.9 trillion relief package last week that has scammers absolutely licking their chops. And some states are better than others at preventing this. I'm looking at you, California. And some states, like New York, are using ID.me to make people self-verify, but scammers are quickly finding workarounds to this. You're probably wondering why a guy with this kind of knowledge is just revealing all of his secrets. And the answer is that he knows it's wrong. He said he got into scamming because of peer pressure. And he actually stopped when he watched this channel and listened to a discussion with Ronnie and myself. And there's been cases where um, I've seen suicide as a direct result of this. Um, people are losing their lives because of a lot of scammers who are doing this. He said, I was disappointed in myself because my mom raised me better. And then I asked him what kind of a message he had for scammers who might watch this channel. And he said, what I can tell people is that there are other ways to get money legit. And scam has a negative impact on their victim, which can leave them traumatized for years to come. So I want to encourage scammers to knock it off and be better. And I also want to warn everybody else out there that this is happening. And the best thing that we can do to stop it is to be aware. And make sure that you're not falling for phishing scams and entering your personal information on sites where you shouldn't be. Another big thing that you should be doing to prevent your info from ending up on the dark web is protecting your passwords. Always use a strong password and never use the same one on multiple accounts. But you might be asking yourself, how are you going to keep track of all those passwords? Well, you really need a solid password manager like Dashlane, the sponsor of today's video. 
I personally use Dashlane and I can't recommend it enough. I have it on all of my devices and whenever I create a new account, I let Dashlane auto-generate a super complex and unique password to keep me safe. And Dashlane will save these passwords for me so I never have to worry about forgetting them and having to reset them. With Dashlane, I can also autofill personal and financial info with the click of a button, keeping my finances secure and way more accessible. Dashlane also offers dark web monitoring, which allows you to receive alerts if your personal information is found leaked on the dark web, where it may be available to spammers and hackers. Don't let people file unemployment claims in your name. With Dashlane, you're getting a password manager, a VPN, dark web monitoring, but most importantly, peace of mind. If this sounds helpful to you, head on over to dashlane.com slash pleasantgreen to try out Dashlane on your first device for free. And if you decide to upgrade to Dashlane Premium, use promo code pleasantgreen to get 10% off. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that it helped. Be sure to uh, watch some of these other videos here to know what's going on in the world of scamming, and I will see you next time.